It's recording already, isn't it? Yeah. All right, perfect. I'm absolutely not very good at doing videos, but I've been asked about trolling for coho or silvers. Normally I troll for those in the ocean. Ocean coho, that's, that's what I do. I don't do upriver coho, I don't do bay coho, I do ocean coho. And uh, the way I do that is with a diver, like this deep six diver. This one's number one, I like a number zero or a number one. I don't have a number zero right now. They're really basic. You take, you just, uh, you take them, and you've got this uh, piece here that comes off the front that has a swivel and a half on it. The half a swivel goes into the clip, and you tie your main line, you tie a quality swivel onto it and connect it to this swivel with a dual snap or something, or you can tie straight on. I've done that before. And uh, these deep sixes, they've got a screw here to adjust how tight this clip is on that half a swivel. If you have them too loose, they're going to come undone and your gear is going to be up on the top of the water. If you have them too tight, they're not going to trip when a fish hits it. You're going to be fighting the weight of the diver the whole time. The diver's pretty simple. It replaces your lead. It doesn't weigh very much. But it pulls like a son of a gun, and it pulls all your gear down, like lead does. To an extent, it, it, they normally don't dig all the way into the bottom. But when I use them, I'm usually in like 200 feet of water. And I use them to keep my bait between 15 and 20 feet deep. And then off of the back end, you've got another whole swivel. And I've got a bumper here that I've got pre-tied. This one's a little longer than I normally use for coho, because... I don't have any made up right now, but I made this out of 80 pound monofilament and I put big heavy swivels on the each end. These are ball bearing swivels by Danielson and they've got the little snaps on them. I'll snap one end onto the back of the diver. Now normally I'd only run this like 10 to 12 inches. This one's not the normal one that I'd use. And then I like using a dodger for coho. This one's a Lure Jensen size 1, Gibbs makes them, several other companies make them. I've put some red tape on this one. And when you look at your Dodger, you're going to notice that there's an end that's not as steep and an end that is more steep. You want your bumper that comes off your diver to go to the not as steep end. You'll snap that on there. And then off of this steep end, sometimes they just have a swivel, sometimes they've got a little clip thing on them. That's where I'll put my leader. I'm not going to pull a leader out of this thing and get all tangled up and stab myself because I'm clumsy as hell. But I like to have a bead chain at the front of my leader and I'll slide the, the forward end of that bead chain on here and then I'll run a leader about three feet long with two hooks and a herring or what I've been using for coho a lot lately is These little guys, Brad's Cut Plugs. This one's the double take. It's my favorite pattern ever. I'll show you how I rig them up here. Give me a second. Probably shouldn't store them wrapped up for very long. So you take about three feet a liter and you'll tie your bead chain onto there at three feet and that'll go on the back end of the dodger. Now I'm running 20 pound here because let's face it, coho are not humongous false nook. They're not going to kill everything that you've got. So 20 pounds just fine for ocean coho. With a Brad's cut plug, you're going to feed the line in first. Well, you're going to have your hooks tied on. And then you're going to have beads. I like to run them down here and run two hooks behind the actual cut plug. About like that. A guy by the name of Luke taught me how to rig these up this way. I was using them having the leader hook up here before and they worked, but uh, Luke taught me how to do this. 
with the beads for spacing and that works pretty darn good. Uh, this pattern, like I said, is my favorite. It's called Double Take. I've uh, caught a whole lot of fish on this pattern. And I'm sure everybody knows the secret about how to open these up and pack them with tuna. I use uh, Pro Procure Scents or Mike's uh, scent oils and them a lot instead of actually packing them with tuna. And uh, these things absolutely catch the silvers. I have, haven't put very many Chinook in the boat on them, but every time I put one out, a silver goes in the boat, seems like. And that's, that's the simple basics for coho trolling, how I do it. Uh, troll a little faster than you would for Chinook. I like to troll about a mile and a half an hour, which is a little faster than I troll for Chinook. Uh, that's basically it. If you have any questions, comment on the video.